What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. As new players come to the game, uh, new players, of course, are going after their Hyper Shards, and one incursion map, or prime incursion map, that is still, or always has thrown people off, is the Power Surge incursion. Now, we're going to do this one on Chaos 10, however, the same process works for every single tier, so... Hop on into Power Surge and get your Dryad ready. Yep, that's right. Now, the deal with Power Surge, of course, is the defenses will despawn after a period of time. However, repairs and replacements are instant. So that is the deal with that map. Now, with this in mind, if you are a Dryad player, then your trees will not despawn. Now, you can use this any way you want to use it. Uh, this build is friendlier in a group, so the more people you have, the more DPS you have, and this is all about just DPSing down the lanes. Now, I am going with a thick vine setup on my trees, so anti-chaos, anti-melee, defense range, vicious, thick, and automation. Use any tree setup you want. You don't have to use this setup. This is actually not the best setup, although it does give you more of an assist. The trees are much, much squishier. If you use a more conventional type um, blockade setup, that is going to work wonders for you. And once again, as I mentioned, bring a friend. One thing that's consistent throughout Dungeon Defenders 2 is the easiest way to kind of break the balance of the game is by having competent teammates because hero DPS is enormous. And with more heroes, you're adding more hero DPS and only adding a small amount of enemy health. So with that in mind, bring friends. If you got three people on this map, you're going to have one person per lane. It's going to be completely trivial. If you got four person, four players on this map, then one person can be in charge of sandwich making duty and just sit back here on the core while the other three players run the map. If you've got two players playing the map, then, you know, one player on each of the outside lanes and both of you assist in the middle lane. And then if you're by yourself, just do it like I'm doing it right here. So what are we going to do? We are going to spam the crap out of trees. So let's do it. So more trees, the merrier. Trees will go down. Remember, you can instantly repair trees. You can also instantly replace trees. And that is the whole theme of the map. The defenses won't last forever. However, trees will. So we're going right into the spawn and we're just going to spam out the trees. Now, this means we're going to have to uh, be actively DPSing. Now, since I'm using a thick vine setup, I am going to get a little help with my trees um, or, or a little help for my hero because thick vines is going to be doing some damage. However, it is not required. And then additionally, it's not a pretty run. It is sloppy. Trees will go down. Um, as I mentioned, you can instantly rebuild the trees. If you're playing in a group, or if you've got two dryads, you could also do clever things like having multiple dryads out and have like your, say your thick vines dryad place the front row trees, have a second dryad, be it a teammate or another character of your own, place the second row of trees. And on that second row of trees, you can use pylons. So with that in mind, you could throw, uh, you know, health pylon, range pylon, you know on your tree to get even more value out of it because the second tree will buff the first tree so sky's the limit on the amount of cheddar you can throw at this map uh in fact we got so many trees down now i feel like i've just gone way way past overkilling it so we are going to want to uh upgrade a few trees because hey thicker trees means they're going to last a little bit longer and like i said trees are going to die there's just no doubt about that um, what shards setup did I have on these trees? We've got, uh, Vicious, Thick Vines, and Automation. So our only heal is going to be coming from Automation. Let's just let it fly here and see how it goes. Now, like I said, it's a little cheesy, but this is intended. Um, when this map first came out, Dryad players were not happy that they were unable to use their Dryad, basically, because they had to place a tree and, like, a hornet's nest or whatever, and... You know, the hornet's nest, of course, would despawn. The tree would despawn also. And uh, Trendy made it back in the day that the trees would not despawn. Now we see we got uh, trees going down. 
Once again, as I mentioned, trees are going to go down. Just don't sweat it. You got a shitload of them there and no reason to panic. Now, if you got the mana, which I do not, you can always go over and rebuild your tree. Actually, I do have the mana on this one. Uh, the rebuilding time is not going to be instant. Uh, however, repairs will be and placements will be. So if you want to place a new tree, um, you're going to be able to throw that down right away. And we've only got four mobs left. So, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, repairs are fully instant. So that's kind of nice. Now let's go ahead and uh, get our trees back. And then let's upgrade our other trees that are in the vicinity. I'm just going to really focus on this front row. Let's make sure we're all uh, back and healthy. Remember, you are on a timer here, so you're going to want to be conscious of that. But we just want to... Oh, and I done derped and got myself stuck in my trees. So now what I'm going to have to do is sell a tree. Don't trap yourself in the forest, y'all. <laughs> but I think everyone gets the point. Now, this is the exact same as the last two or three Power Surge videos I've done over the last five or six years. And the only difference is adding in thick vines, but this the concept is the same. The concept is the trees last forever. Stack them up, have redundancy, so if they go down, it's just not a big deal. And DPS the mobs down. And that is what it's all about. Uh, once again, if you can get your repairs off, the repairs will be instant. So, you know, repairs are greater than replacements. If you can get there in time to get your repair off, you will be happy about that uh, as you progress through. We're down to 13 mobs already. We got a Cyclone Shaper in the middle here. Let's go ahead and just burn that one out. Looking good. Get our uh, repairs in here. Very, very nice. Now, uh, let me just go ahead and get that tree back that I derped on there. Um, let's see. We got one more upgrade there. Let's get some trees back over here. Or get some repairs in and get some upgrades in. Our trees are good and fat now. And uh, let's just let wave three go. We can do the rest of the stuff on the fly here. This is a fun map to run. It's quick. Um, it gives you a reason to get out. Like, a lot of people turn DD2 into a shooter way too often. Uh, and particularly with uh, the fact that you can break the game's balance with multiple players. However, at, at its heart, the game is a tower defense game. So, like, for me personally, I play it as a tower defense game. So I don't have as many opportunities, or do I really care to, to be honest to turn the game into a shooter, and this is one of those chances that you get that is going to be rewarding, you know? Of course, uh, you got to clear some incursions to get all of your Hyper Shards, or all of your second set of Hyper Shards, assuming you've already done Mastery Mode. Got World Trees dropping off. Ooh, they're dropping off thick over here. We got multiple levels of them. That is a Cannon Ogre. Cannon ogres, of course, will put a hurting on things, there's no doubt. Make sure we don't get trapped in them this time as we get them all back up. As we still got two more waves to go. Looking good. And then, once again, we repair and and we're upgrading so don't sweat the trees going down it's just going to happen but repair them upgrade them uh, do all the things and you will be in good shape now the more you get your trees upgraded of course if you're using thick vines then the more power they're going to have so definitely want to upgrade your trees as well and just turn them into absolute beasts A little tree damage in the very back here on this one, huh? I'm just going to go ahead and repair that. That way my mini-map is not uh, showing yellows. And now, I think we might have, besides the Chieftain, I think we might have enough power to have most of it automated. Uh, the Chieftain, of course, are going to pop their buff and still make it out there and put some damage in. 
But once we get a few upgrades in, most of the little guys are just dying off due to thick vines. All right, we got a roller and a dragon lord. Uh, the dragon lord will be able to ignore, but the roller, however, we will not. We'll give that roller time to come on out. Looking pretty good. I could have just ignored that dragon lord. It was going real low. The roller we're going to have to let come out a little bit so we can get behind him. And there we go. Once again, we're just going to replace, replace, repair, and upgrade. And we'll be in good shape. So I need a little bit more juice. Actually, I don't even think I need to bother with it. I think we'll just be good. We've got quite a bit laying around here, though. Just uh, replace what we can. I'll throw one upgrade on there. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be in pretty good shape for the final wave here. Now, in addition to getting your Hyper Shards, um, you will be getting a Ring of Poison, I believe it is, on this map. We'll have to double check that. Uh, the Ring of Poison, of course, can be quite helpful as it does uh, debuff enemies. Plus, if you're looking for some, like, Petrify combos, you're going to be able to get Poison automated into your attacks. But more importantly, the Ring of Poison is great for boss killing, as it does put a debuff on bosses that will uh, allow you to do more damage, or debuff on any enemy, for that matter. That will uh, allow you to do more damage to it. Now, as you see, I'm not even playing uh, my Hunter properly and still getting the easy clap here. Um, not swapping, you know, and I am using swap damage chips, uh, so I'm not even getting the full power value of my hunter, and we're still just going to get an easy victory here. We got Griblock uh, over here. He's slapping on thing. Or no, that's a, a plaguing hawk. And then Gribs must be up here. Gribs down. So there we go, y'all. Nothing has changed on Power Surge. Uh, remember that although the game has evolved, lots of core things in the game have stayed the same over the course of many, many, many years. Uh, Power Surge is just one of those examples. So Power Surge is going to be the easiest, or not necessarily maybe the easiest, but one of the easiest of all of the, um, the Prime Incursions that you're going to do. And then, you know, as with any other map, if you've got a friend that is competent and has a DPS hero set up, then by all means, bring a friend. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.